I'm Dan Galpin, and this is The Developer Show, your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Firebase Analytics rolled out updates to its Analytics dashboard to provide access to some of the newest Google Analytics 4 innovations within the Firebase console. Firebase now shows a curated collection of analytics cards with a more intuitive presentation to get you to key insights faster, without switching to the Google Analytics interface. The comparisons tool replaces what was previously filters, now supporting up to five simultaneous comparison groups. The real-time view now shows the same views as Google Analytics 4 and works with the comparisons tool. The post has lots more on all of the new improvements to the Google Analytics experience in Firebase. Google Cloud announced the general availability of Time to Live, or TTL, for Cloud Spanner, allowing database administrators to set policies to periodically delete ephemeral, temporary, or unneeded data from Spanner tables. It runs continuously in the background, deleting expired data in batches, making it ideal for regular cleanup activities, replacing one-off cleanup scripts. Cleaning up data reduces storage and backup costs and can improve performance for queries that need to scan lots of data. It also helps automate data retention policies. It's generally available to all Spanner customers at no additional cost. Head on over to the post and check out the product documentation to learn more about TTL. Angular v13 is available now, bringing expansions of Ivy-based features and optimizations. v13 will no longer include Vue Engine, allowing Angular to reduce its reliance on NGCC, the Angular compatibility compiler. Other updates include changes to the Angular package format, component API updates, and the end of IE11 support. You can get Angular v13 now by running ng-update in your project. The post has more, and there's also an update guide available at update.angular.io. There's a new upgrade to QSIM, an open source quantum circuit simulator. The upgrade allows developers to back their simulations with high performance processors such as GPUs and UltraMem CPUs via Google Cloud. The latest version also allows users to distribute simulations over multiple compute nodes while providing a more performant, intuitive, and hardware-like experience. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Firebase Analytics rolled out updates to its analytics dashboard to provide access to some of the new...